Amazon Fire TV is a digital media player and its microconsole remote developed by Amazon. The device is a small network appliance that can deliver digital audio, video content streamed via the Internet to a high-definition television. It also allows users to play video games with the included remote, via a mobile app, or with an optional game controller. The device comes in two form factors, Fire TV, a set-top box, and Fire TV Stick a cut-down version presented as an HDMI plug-in stick. The first-generation Fire TV device featured 2 GB of RAM, MIMO dual-band Wi-Fi, and a Bluetooth remote control with a microphone for voice search. It supported 1080p streaming and Dolby Digital Plus 7.1 surround sound but was dependent on internet bandwidth of the user. Unveiled on April 2, 2014, the Amazon Fire TV first generation was made available for purchase in the U.S. the same day for $99 and was launched with a video game called Sev Zero. In 2015, the Amazon Fire TV second generation was released with improved processor speed and 4K UHD support. Amazon Fire TV is also available in the United Kingdom, Germany, Japan and launched in India in 2016. In September 2018, Amazon announced the Fire TV Recast, a digital video recorder which works with a HD antenna to record shows for later viewing on a Fire TV or Echo Show device. It is designed to use with over-the-air TV services and is a part of the cord-cutting movement. In October 2018, Amazon announced the latest Fire TV Stick which offers 4K for $50. Its design comes as a solution to create an affordable device that contains the 4K playback that is already added in higher-end Fire TV devices. Topic: Fire TV Original model <laughs> First generation The first Fire TV codenamed Bueller, after the eponymous character from Ferris Bueller's Day Off offers HDMI and optical audio, with support for Dolby Digital Plus and 7.1 surround sound pass-through, along with an Ethernet port and a USB 2.0 port. According to Amazon, the Fire TV is designed to outpace competitors like the Apple TV and Roku in performance. The 0.72 inch thick box features a 1.7 GHz quad core CPU, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8064, 2 GB of RAM, and 8 GB of internal storage, along with a dual band wireless radio for 1080p streaming over 802.11a, B per gram, N Wi Fi, and a 10100s Ethernet connection. The company said that it does not intend the Fire TV to compete with gaming consoles, instead, its gaming capabilities are geared toward people who do not already own a console but may play games on a smartphone or tablet. It has a dedicated controller accessory. <laughs> Second generation Amazon released a second generation Fire TV, codenamed, Sloan. In late 2015, the second generation features 4K ultra high definition support, improved processor performance, and a MediaTek 8173C chipset to support H.265, HEVC, VP8, and VP9 codecs. Wireless hardware upgrades includes a dual band 802.11a, B per gram, N, AC Wi Fi with 2x2 MIMO and Bluetooth 4.1. Topic. Third generation On September 27, 2017, Amazon announced the third generation Fire TV alongside five other new Amazon products. On October 3, 2018, Amazon has announced discontinuing Fire TV in favor of Fire TV Stick. Topic. Fire TV Stick Topic. First generation On November 19, 2014, Amazon released a smaller version of the Fire TV called the Fire TV Stick. Codenamed, Montoya, it is an HDMI port plug-in device that replicates much of the functionality of the larger Fire TV. 
Its hardware is slightly different, it has 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage, weighs 0.9 ounces, 25.1 grams and it uses a Broadcom BCM28155 dual-core 1.0 GHz Cortex-A9 processor and a Broadcom VideoCore IV GPU. Wireless hardware includes a dual band 802.11a, B per gram, N Wi Fi with 2x2 MIMO and Bluetooth 3.0. The Fire TV stick is bundled with a remote control, in either of two variants, one with voice search on the remote and one without. Second generation On October 20, 2016, Amazon released Fire TV Stick with Alexa Voice Remote, codenamed Tank. Other than the new remote, the updates include MediaTek MT8127 D Quad Core ARM 1.3 GHz processor with a Mali 450 MP4 GPU, and support for the H.265 HEVC codec. Wireless hardware upgrades includes a dual band 802.11a, b per gram, n, ac Wi-Fi with 2x2 MIMO and Bluetooth 4.1. It retains the 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of storage and weighs slightly more at 1.1 ounces, 32.0 grams. Topic third generation On October 3, 2018, Amazon announced the Fire TV Stick 4K with all new Alexa voice remote. Included for the first time are buttons for volume, power, and mute. Amazon scheduled the release date for October 31, 2018, which will also introduce the new remote control as a standalone product. The Fire TV Stick 4K delivers Ultra HD and HDR streaming through an HDMI dongle that costs $50. It is the first media stick to support Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus that promises higher video and audio quality to compatible audio systems and TVs. The device also syncs with Amazon's Alexa voice remote with features like Bluetooth, multi-directional infrared and buttons for power, volume and muting. Furthermore, Amazon announced that in-app Alexa control will be featured in more specialized video service, such as AMC, HBO Now, A&E, VH1 and Sony Crackle, among others. The Fire TV Stick 4K also has a 1.7 GHz processor, faster than the 2017 Fire TV, and a 4K streamer with dangling pendant designs. Amazon states smoother response times and faster loading in this edition of the Fire TV Stick. Germany, India and the UK releases the Fire TV Stick 4K on November 14 and Japan receives it by the end of 2018. Topic: <laughs> Fire TV Cube. The Fire TV Cube was launched in June 2018 as a mix of the Fire TV and Echo Dot. The device uses a 1.5 GHz quad-core ARM 4 XCA53 processor, 2 GB RAM, and 16 GB storage. <laughs> <laughs> Software The device initially ran Fire OS 3.0, based on Android Jelly Bean 4.2. According to Amazon, that made it simple for developers to port their services and games over to Fire TV." In November 2017, Amazon launched the Fire TV version of the Amazon Silk web browser. In December 2017, Mozilla launched a Fire TV version of the Mozilla Firefox browser. <laughs> Updates On March 24, 2015, Amazon announced an update to the Fire TV software to provide the following additional features which address some of the concerns raised in early reviews. Expandable USB storage on Amazon Fire TV, the user can connect a USB mass storage device to expand the Fire TV storage. Connect to the user's hotel or dorm room Wi-Fi with captive portal support, which enables the user to connect to Wi-Fi that requires web authentication. This includes Wi-Fi at most major hotels, as well as some universities. Private listening on Fire TV, add support for wireless Bluetooth headphones to Fire TV. Browse and search Prime playlists, Prime members can now take advantage of Prime music playlists from Fire TV with hundreds of expertly curated Prime playlists to pick from. 
Hidden pin entry – The pin entry screen hides the numbers selected. New shortcuts put the user's Fire TV to sleep or enable display mirroring by pressing and holding the home button on the remote. Topic content providers that can be streamed on the Fire TV stick include A&E, Amazon Prime Videos, BBC News, Bloomberg TV, CBS All Access, Crackle, Disney Junior, HBO Now, History Channel, HuffPost Live, Hulu, Hulu Plus, iHeart Radio, MLB TV Premium, NBA Game Time, Netflix, PBS Kids, Showtime, Spotify, Vimeo, Watch ESPN, Watch Food Network, Watch HGTV, and YouTube. Models Reception Dan Seifert from The Verge reviewed Fire TV on April 4, 2014, giving it an 8.8, 10 and largely praising its current functionality and future potential. Dave Smith from ReadWrite wrote, Fire TV aims to be the cure for what ails TV set-top boxes. GeekWire editor Andy Liu's review is headlined, Amazon's Fire TV sets a new bar for streaming boxes. AR's Technica praised the device specs that are better than the competition, the build quality was high, and if you use Amazon content, the microphone works very well. However, the reviewer did not like that media browsing puts Amazon content in the front thus making other apps less convenient, the game selection is limited and many games are unoptimized, and its free space is only 5.16 GB, limiting the number of games that can be installed. See also Comparison of set-top boxes Smart TV